here, and you go to the first link in <coughs> Wikipedia, go to the bottom, and here you have a big table that tells you what are all of these elastic moduli, bulk modules, young modules, first lame parameter, shear modules, Poisson ratio, constraint modules, as a combination of two other modules. For example, in this case, we're looking for this one. This is the bulk module as a function of young modules and the Poisson ratio. So you need to find that in problem number one. Okay? Let's talk about problem number four. Uh, problem number four is a problem which is similar to the previous one and in which you have to show that this constraint modulus M is equal to uh, what you see uh, over here. So that I'm just copying here in, in paper. And we solved this in class, but we solved it with the axis number three. You can practice now and solve it again with the axis number three, with axis number one, as, is, as it is written here. And furthermore, uh, with some numerical values, uh, you're going to have to calculate what are those strains and stresses and compressibility uh, with those uh, parameters? Um, something that came to my mind right now. Here, there is a similar question in the previous problem, right? So what I really want over there is that you tell me I come back over here. What I want you to tell me is what is the stress tensor written as a matrix? In this case, since all the stresses are the same, the stress tensor is like this. And the numerical value, let me Come up with here. Numerical value, let's see. 3,000 PSI, okay? 3,000 PSI, the solution is going to be 3,000, 3,000, 0, 0, 3,000. PSI. Don't forget the units, okay? All these quantities have units. And it's very important that, that you put those units in there. And I want the same for the strain, and I want the same for this problem. You're going to see that sometimes, and that's what I want you to notice, that in this case you have non-zero stresses, and you'll see that you get non-zero strains in the diagonal too. But in problem number four, you're going to have non-zero strains in some places. Uh, oh, let me repeat that. You're going to have some strains which are zero, but the strains are not going to be zero in the same place in the stress tensor. And that's what I want you to notice from problem number four. OK? So uh, let's continue working on these problems. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to help you here a little bit with the compressibility part. The first part is in your notes. You can check your notes it's over there. For compressibility, you need to solve something similar to this problem or here. OK? So I'm going to go around. Let me know if you have any questions. You have, you have a general question or uh, just 
Uh, yes. Uh, so M M is a million. One capital M is a thousand. Okay, uh, that, that's a good question because I want you to be familiar with some of the units which are actually used in the field. In the field, young modulo, moduli and elastic moduli are usually reported uh, with millions PSI and as MM, capital M, capital M, PSI. I, I agree with you that there is a confusion with capital M that in SI units means mega 10 to the 6 and sometimes in field units means thousands, okay? But uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to be clear with that. When I, I'm talking about stresses or pressure units, I'm not going to, to put uh, <coughs> just a thousand PSI with one M, okay? I'm not gonna do that. Just I'm gonna refer to, sometimes to this uh, elastic module like with two M's PSI, and that means million. Okay, so you got a question? No? So just, just to verify this. Yeah. So you just use just one uh, strain. Yes. But I wanted to, to recover that solve the equation. If you don't want to do that right now, you can do it later. Are you ready to do it? Okay, okay, that's fine. Did you like that? Okay. Because you're adding all these. Yeah, but why is there three though? This is just the volume. No, you add them. Yeah, you add them all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens when you do it. Yeah. yeah, on this one because you, you get the same formula for all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just gonna multiply the formula with three because you're adding Oh, three. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. So that means the volume is equal to the, yes, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah. for it in by a three by three matrix mm -hmm. so are they asking it for us to like plug it into like this i mean to this right here okay this is a strain yeah three by three first you want to do the stress three by three, three. Uh -huh. so that, that's just going to be like sigma iso along the diagonal sigma isotropic along the diagonal uh -huh. so the three thousand psi yes okay so write the equation and then write the values. Exactly. This okay. is what he's asking for. Is it? And then you have to do the same thing for strain, right? For strain. So Resulting strain, so. So with like this? What's six? <laughs> well, yes, but you have to do, right, okay. So you already have these three values. Uh -huh, right here. You want to write this in a three by three as well, so. So in the same one, like, like are we, so with like, 
833? Exactly. That's it? Mm -hmm. Just write your values. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, that one is like you. Okay. So this one you added. I mean, you multiply there because. I don't know. Do we multiply it together? I don't know. Multiply together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 